morning, everyone. We are going to go on a coal expedition today. Because it's hard to get coal for some reason. The caves around here are mined out. And coal is not at every depth now. I don't know exactly where it is. I could look it up. But I'm going to kind of find out and explore myself. So you might notice... Things look a bit different. I have shaders installed. This is the, what is it, complementary shaders is the name of it. And it is running on um, Iris, if you know about that stuff. Wait a second. I didn't notice this house until now. It's almost like someone just built it. I was just down here, wasn't I? This house was not here 10 minutes ago. It must have been. I must have been just so focused on the shaders that I didn't even notice what was actually happening. So there's a house here now. Um, looks like they have not been here long. It's a new player, I think. Do we see a name? I definitely recommend naming your work areas if you're in a multiplayer server like this. I've noticed that things are getting taken down. Like if players come on, build something like this near spawn, and then don't ever come back, and like don't finish it, it gets torn down and other people build there. It is laggy down here. Very bad, actually, with the shaders. Kind of just testing them out. They look really awesome. So I'm excited. But we'll see if we can keep the frames up. I know it's going to be spawny through here. Or spawny. Laggy through spawn. Spawny through lag. There's a lot of new builds down here. But I don't have time for that now. I'm going to get out of lag land so we can do some coal expeditions. I also have another mod installed called Bobby now, which now I have it installed now and it is called Bobby, not Bobby now. And it, so this server has a low render distance, so no matter what you're client render distance is set to the server render distance is like I don't I don't know like 12 or even lower maybe 10 chunks so you can't see very far but this mod if you install it on your client it like saves the chunks that you visit and then can render them like um from saving it I guess like render it from memory so that even when those aren't loaded by the server, you can still see them. They still render for you. It's really cool. And then that, I had, had that way turned up. And it was really cool. And then I did the complementary shaders. So now I had to turn the render distance back down for performance. So I'm just probably going to end up experimenting with that. Because there's a lot of settings in the shaders too that you can change. Um, I would show you, but I'm guessing most people aren't into it. Wow, look at that. I did a copper load. That's kind of weird. Water's way different. <laughs> We're just heading away from spawn for a while. Exploring. Hmm. So, like, I haven't been here since I installed the Bobby mod. 
So this stuff wouldn't be rendering because it hasn't rendered with that installed yet. I'm pretty sure that's how it works because it creates a its own like folder in your Minecraft directory. So like right now I can't see that because it, it just now rendered. But if I go back to where I just was and it was not rendered, it'll render from farther out. I'm rowing backwards, you can't tell. I'll go further back just to prove it, to demonstrate it. There. So like we're way farther away than we were before when it was not yet loaded, but now you can see it off in the distance. And you can see like twice as much distance by render distance, it's like 16 now. It was at 24, but that was before I did the shaders. I don't know which one is more important to me. I really like that. I think I am. I do want that long render distance though. So hopefully we can turn down some of the stuff on the shaders and still have it look like this or close enough. Because I really like both of them, the shaders and the render distance. I guess I'll uh, leave some... Ooh, jungle! I didn't know there was a jungle over here. You might... I'll leave the some of the ride back in the video, and you'll... We'll probably be able to tell the difference if you were watching closely on the ride out here and the ride back versus the ride back as far as more stuff being rendered in around you. This is cool. You can just kind of sink into the game a little bit more. I never really think about this kind of stuff. This is the first time I've ever messed with it. Okay. Might be good to get some jungle saplings if it's not if someone's gonna sleep. This is a true adventure because I am nowhere near home. Hopefully someone sleeps. There's a bunch of people on, so probably someone will. I did not plan that far ahead. We can just get the jungle saplings later, though. We know where they are now. They're not far at all. It's the night sky. Alright, we're going in. So we need coal. For now, until we find our first coal, we have four torches. Oh, it does this too. I didn't even notice that yet. Wait, does it do the... No. That would be funny. I think, what was, there's some shaders that do do that, I'm pretty sure. I don't think I've ever seen it. I've seen this before. Videos and stuff. Or like, I think they, uh, Flame arrows to like light up the world like that. It's a weird little pocket. So this is not a cave, but just start digging. Maybe I should look around a little bit more before I start this. This is cool. I could carry a torch in my off hand. looking for a cave and enjoying the visuals here we go uh, here another deep one goes in nope. okay they connect a 
I'm not used to using stuff in my offhand. I'm scared of it. What's that? Oh, it's water. I thought it was like a bug shadow. Okay. We have water, so we don't need that. And it goes nowhere. Serve. This one seemed like it was going to open up. You know what? I can grow vines. Down there next to the bovines. Or anywhere, really. Okay. I don't need many. Cool. This is easy.